Welcome to this short video on remote invigilation when taking your Pearson exam. This video has been made for learners and will cover starting your assessment. Your school, college or learning provider will enter you for your Pearson on-screen assessment which will be invigilated via remote invigilation. Once you've successfully passed all of the checks from your first email, you'll receive a second email with the subject you are now ready to take your exam. This email will provide you with a link to access your assessment. Your school, college or learning provider will have booked your assessment for a specific time. The link allows you to access your assessment an hour before this time and for up to three hours after, but you should aim to access your exam as close to the scheduled start time as possible. If you cannot attend your exam, you must let your school, college or training provider know immediately. To access your assessment within the time window, click on the link in step 2 of the email. This will take you to your exam session. You must ensure that you have your ID available before starting the session. This must be photographic ID and can be your passport, your driving licence, your work ID or your college ID. Before starting your exam session, you must ensure that you have a clear desk and workspace and that you will not be interrupted. Once you're ready, tick to agree to the privacy policy, then click next step. The time you have to take your exam will not begin until you've completed all of the setup steps and started the test in the Pearson test player. Some final checks before you set up for your exam. Once you begin the setup, you should remain at your computer until you have completed your exam. Before clicking next step, please ensure you've used the bathroom if you need to, that you're alone and that those in the same address or office are aware that you are about to start an exam and that they should not enter the room. Also ensure that the room you're in is well lit and that your workspace is clear of any notes, books or other materials, food or drinks that are not permitted in a live examination. Any devices not being used as part of remote invigilation should also be removed from the room. The first part of the setup process will be to share your screen. You'll see a pop-up box that will show the image of your screen. Click on the image and then click share. Next, you'll need to speak to ensure that your microphone is working. It's very important that you do not have any headphones connected to your computer. Headphones are not permitted in your exam. To test your speakers, some sample music will be played. You should check that you can hear this clearly through the speakers of your computer. Make sure that you have the volume on your computer turned up. Please also make sure that there are no headphones connected to your computer. You should make sure that you hide the screen sharing bar at the bottom of your screen. It's important to make sure this is hidden before you launch the Pearson test player as it may obscure some of the navigational tools in the test player. You should only have one Google Chrome browser open when you start your pre-exam checks. If you have other browsers, chat message services or tabs open, you should close them all at this point. Additionally, if you have any grammar or spelling support apps or plugins such as Grammarly working on your computer, you must turn them off now as these are not permitted. The system will prompt you to close all tabs before moving on to the next stage of the checks. There are a few final steps before you access your exam. You must have your ID to hand for the next stage. You must have your phone or smart device available with the Proctor Exam app installed. You'll be asked to show your surroundings, so ensure that any materials you should not have during the exam are removed before moving to the next stage. You'll also need to set up your cameras. To do this, you'll need to make sure you have placed your smart device in a position where its camera shows you and your surrounding area clearly. The system will ask you to take a photograph of your face using your computer webcam. There'll be a frame that will help you position your face in the correct area. 
This photo will be used to check against your photographic ID in the next stage. You'll be asked to present your ID to your webcam and to take an image of it. Please ensure that your picture and name are clearly visible on the image that you take. If they're not, you'll be given the option to retake the image until you're happy with it. We will use these images to verify your identity. If either your face photo or ID is not clear, we may contact your school, college or learning provider to ask them to verify your ID. If we cannot verify your ID, then your exam attempt may be void and no result can be provided. The next step is to set up your phone ready to use the app. You must ensure that you have the Proctor Exam app installed on your phone. You'll be asked to put your phone into airplane mode and then to activate the Wi-Fi. You will now need to follow the on-screen instructions to connect to the remote invigilation service. You'll be asked to scan the QR code via the app to ensure that the service can connect to your device and that the camera is enabled. Once connected, you'll see a confirmation on screen. Through the next few screens, you'll be prompted with video support to complete environment checks using your mobile phone camera. These include checks of your computer and keyboard, desk and area behind your computer, under your desk and your ceiling, the four corners of your room. Please work through these steps slowly and move your camera slowly to show the spaces requested to ensure that the checks are captured clearly. If there are any issues with your environment checks, such as items present that are not permitted or other people present, we may investigate further and contact your school, college or learning provider and this may result in your test attempt being void. The final environment check is to show your ears to your mobile camera. This is to ensure that you do not have any headphones, earpods or any other devices that are not permitted in your ears. If you use a hearing device, please ensure that you've informed your school, college or learning provider ahead of your assessment being booked. Now that you've completed all of the environment checks, you'll be asked to set up your mobile device ready to start your exam. There is an on-screen video and an image that you can use to ensure that you're placing your mobile device with you in view of the camera. You'll then be asked to check that you can see yourself and your face in the centre of a frame on the screen. Once you can, tick the box, I am able to see myself. It is important that you keep the page on the next screen open throughout your exam. On the exam instructions page, you'll be able to view final reminders of instructions, Access the Pearson Test Player, which will open in a second tab. Remember to keep both tabs open. Access a quick support guide. And view your learner number and order number. You'll need both of these to access your test in the Pearson Test Player. Once you click on the link for Pearson Test Player, it will open in a new tab. Here, you'll be able to put your learner number, and order number. You'll find this on the other tab in your individual information screen. Please ensure that there are no spaces before or after the numbers you submit and that you're entering them in the correct boxes. During your exam you can go to the Proctor exam tab and speak to someone using the We Are Here live chat at any time. You can review the guidance documents. You will also be able to check that your webcam and mobile camera are still connected and that they're capturing your image accurately. When you've finished your exam in Pearson Test Player, ensure that you come back to this screen and that you finish the remote invigilation session by clicking Finish Exam. Once you've clicked Finish Exam, a message will be displayed on screen. If you've submitted your exam on the Pearson Test Player, you can click Submit. This will end your remote invigilation session. Your exam session will now be reviewed. 
If you had any issues during your assessment, you should report these to your school, college or learning provider immediately after you've finished the exam session. Your assessment will be marked by Pearson and your results released to your school, college or learning provider within the usual timeframes. Your school, college or learning provider should be in touch with you after your exam. If you have any questions or concerns, you can reach out to your tutor or assessor. Thank you for watching. We wish you all the best with your Pearson Remote Invigilation Assessment.